One of the most simple and cost-effective ways to add curb appeal to your home is by adding a beautiful wreath to your front door. I'm Stephanie from Gathered in the Kitchen. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this beautiful artificial tulip wreath with a step-by-step -step tutorial and how you can make it for a fraction of the cost if you were to buy it at the store. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I've got our artificial tulips here. I have several different colors because Michael's actually did not have enough of these pretty pink ones. So I grabbed some peach color ones and some white ones and I'm gonna mix them all together to make this really pretty wreath. The next thing I have is a satin ribbon. I chose a color that coordinated well with all the colors of the flowers that I have. I've got a foam wreath some wire clippers. Now you don't have to use this, you can just use scissors instead. However, we're gonna be taking apart these flowers like so, and it's just a lot easier to do so with wire clippers than a pair of scissors. So we've got that. Then next up, I've got our hot glue gun warming up already. I like to keep it on a piece of tin foil so it doesn't get all over my table. So all right, let's get started. We're just gonna start by cutting all of our flowers. So I've actually never made this wreath before, but I saw um, a tulip wreath that I just absolutely fell in love with at the store, but the price tag was super expensive. <laughs> like, I'm really not okay with paying $60 or more for a wreath when I know I can buy the supplies myself and make it for much cheaper. And then also I can do whatever size I want as well as um, choose the colors for exactly how I want them. Because a lot of times at the store, the colors aren't exactly what I would like. So this is a really great alternative. And it's gonna be so easy to do. So again, we're just gonna cut these and then start putting them on the wreath. Okay, so I've finished cutting apart all of the little tulips. So I'm gonna slide them up to the side. What you do need to do, I highly recommend doing this at the beginning before you assemble your wreath because it's really difficult um, to remove the price tags from your flowers once the wreath is already assembled. So we're gonna do that. I'm also gonna take this one off of the foam wreath. This wreath form is actually from the Dollar Tree. So, all right, we've got that. Now we're gonna cut open our ribbon. Let's see here. This is one and a half inch wide uh, satin ribbon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unroll just a little bit. I wanna keep it pretty short right here. And I'm going, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this edge just so it's a little nicer looking. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun I'm just gonna put a little bit on here for now because we need to hold this uh, satin ribbon on. All right, now to get going, I'm going to wrap it about two times just to get it on there nice and tight because I don't want this to come off. So we're gonna wrap it, keep it on the spool and just start wrapping. So, all right, we are ready to begin. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a couple flowers. I'm gonna grab two different colors. So I'm gonna grab it like that, layer them. So you've got this nice long stem and you can usually slide up the leaves if you want to, depending on where you want them to be placed on your wreath. So I've got one and two. I'm gonna slide the bottom set of flowers leaves up and then keep the leaves on the second set of flowers down just to even it out and fill it out a little more. So I'm just gonna place them kind of like a stagger like that. I'll place them on my wreath and I'm gonna do one 
twist with the satin ribbon. It's kind of difficult when you first get started, but once we get going, it's gonna be fine. It won't move around as much. And you can always come back and twist these and move them a little bit once you're uh, filling out the wreath a little more. So then we're just gonna repeat that process. I'm gonna grab some more flowers, slide the first one up. I'm gonna grab a white one, place it on. And wrap. You wanna keep it nice and tight. And some of these leaves you can go ahead and pull up like that. We're gonna go like that. And keep it tight. If you wanted, you could place additional hot glue every um, wrap around with the satin ribbon, but I'm not gonna do that. So we're just gonna keep it going. Place a darker color one and then one of the orangey ones. Place it on. I'm gonna grab one more actually. I'm gonna grab a white one and stick it in there. So sometimes you might need to do more than two, just depending on where the space is that you need to fill in. So again, these will move around really easily once we're done and you can arrange the flowers a little bit more where you've got some gaps and whatnot. And we're just gonna wrap it again. We're just gonna repeat this process over and over and over again until we get the finished wreath with all of the tulip flowers. You could stop halfway, do only half of the flowers. So I'll just show you like this. Do like a halfway wreath, wrap the satin ribbon a little more and put a letter here or uh, because this looks very Eastery, you could put an Easter bunny, you could do anything. It's, the possibilities are so endless when you're creating wreaths. I think that's why I like to make them so much because you can make them so different every single time. No two wreaths are exactly the same, even if you try to make them look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay these on here. Again, slide the leaves up and wrap. So it's so easy. Pretty much anybody can make this wreath. Um, even a kid, honestly, because all you're doing is wrapping and laying, wrapping and laying, and just pulling really nice and tight to make sure that your flowers don't move around once it is outside. We're just gonna keep going. Okay, so we're almost at the end here. We've got just a small space left, and actually our ribbon is almost out too, so that was the perfect size wreath um, for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up, and we're gonna just tuck the stems of the flowers that we're gonna be adding in now through the ribbon that's already wrapped around. So we're gonna stick it on, and we're gonna wrap. And because we're getting close to the end here, I am going to go ahead and place a little bit of hot glue on our ribbon. Push that up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to place a little bit of hot glue here. Now you'll want to be careful simply because it's going on the satin ribbon and it will be hot. So like that. And we're gonna wrap. This will just help hold everything in place a little bit more and make it easier to tuck in a few extra flowers as we go. So I've got just a few left. If this happens where the flowers pop off, all you have to do is put them back on their artificial stems. You can always put a little hot glue there too to help it stay in place. This happens all the time even when you're at the store. <laughs> I always try to buy the flowers that have all the, or all, buy the stems that have all the flowers still on them because otherwise you're kind of getting ripped off for your flowers because they're not all there. So, all right, this is gonna be our last one and then I've got one left and I've got two flowers that have popped off so we can find where those need to go. So what we're gonna do is we're 
totally complete now. We're gonna finish this up. I'm leaving the tape on for now from the ribbon just to help me hold it in place while I flip it over. I'm gonna put some hot glue all over this. Unfortunately, my hot glue is pretty much out right now, so I'm gonna have to add a little bit more in a minute, but I'm gonna do that. And then tightly, tightly, tightly put that on. Now, as you see, I do have a couple spots where I didn't wrap the ribbon quite perfectly, and that's okay, because that's gonna be on the back side. You'll never see that. You can wrap the wreath before you start putting the flowers on with the satin ribbon, so it'll be like two layers of ribbon, but I chose not to do that. <laughs> just kind of extra ribbon that you need then. All right, so we've got just our little spot right here and I'm gonna tuck this in and fill it in. So again, this is such a simple wreath that took me less than 20 minutes to really make. And all together, the supplies cost under $20. So I'd say that's a really good bargain compared to the $60 wreath that was on sale that I was totally in love with, but didn't wanna spend all that money. So just go to your local craft store or the Dollar Tree, purchase artificial flowers, artificial tulips, or whatever kind of flower you want, and some satin ribbon, and fill it in. So right here, since I've got this little gap, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of glue and just kind of put those on there because I don't have any more stems of flowers. So just do it like that and fill it in. So there you have it, there's my beautiful wreath. Let's go put it on my door. So there you have it guys, my beautiful artificial tulip wreath that is so bright and cheery and welcoming. To me, every front door needs a wreath, otherwise it just looks naked and you don't want your door looking naked, so add a wreath. This wreath was so cost effective, way cheaper than the store bought tulip wreaths and it only took a matter of 20, 25 minutes to make. And I've never made this wreath before. So this was my first time doing a floral wreath like this. And if I can do it that quickly, so can you. So post your finished wreaths in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more great wreath tutorials as well as other DIY projects and recipes. Have a great day guys, bye.